Hello students, welcome to the channel and you are watching the Ultimate English Teacher and Lecturer. Students, in this video, I will discuss the biography about Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the Colombian novelist. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, born March 6, 1927, Arcatica, Colombia, and died in April 17, 2014, Mexico City, Mexico. Colombian novelist and one of the greatest writers of the 20th century who was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1982, mostly for his masterpiece C.N. Anus de Soledad, 1967, 100 Years of Solitude. He was the fourth Latin American to be so honored having been preceded by Chilean poet Gabriela Mistral in 1945 and Pablo Neruda in 1971 and by Guatemalan novelist Miguel Angel Asturias in 1967. With George Luis Borges, Gracia Marquez is the best-known Latin American writer in history. In addition to his masterly approach to the novel, he was a superb crafter of short stories and an accomplished journalist. In both his shorter and longer fictions, Garcia Marquez achieved the rare feat of being accessible to the common reader while satisfying the most demanding of sophisticated critics. Works Before 1967, Garcia Marquez had published two novels, La Hazusco, 1955, The Leaf Storm, and La Malahara, in 1962, in Evil Hour, a novella, El Colonel No Tiene Quen Le Escriba, 1961, No One Writes to the Colonel, and a few short stories. Then came 100 Years of Solitude, in which Garcia Marquez tells the story of Macando, an isolated town whose history is like the history of Latin America on a radio scale. While the setting is realistic, there is fantastic episodes, a combination that has come to be known as magic realism, wrongly though to be the peculiar features of all Latin American literature, mixing historical facts and stories with instances of the fantastic is a practice that Garcia Marquez derived from Cuban master Alezo Carpentier considered to be one of the founders of magic realism. The inhabitants of Macando are driven by elemental passion like lust, greed, thirst for power, which are thwarted by crude societal, political or natural forces, as in Greek tragedy and myth. After being diagnosed with cancer in 1999, Garcia Marquez wrote the memoir Vivir para Contrela, 2002, which means living to tell the tale, which focuses on his first 30 years. He returned to fictions with memoir de mis putas, Tristes, 2004. Memories of My Melancholy Horse a novel about a lonely man who finally discovers the meaning of love when he hires a virginal prostitute to celebrate his 90th birthday. Students, don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get all the videos at first. Thank you for watching.